Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video. Come on, like the video, subscribe if you've yet to subscribe. You know what TXT Track Time is popping. So come on, the new season is beginning. A lot is going to be happening. So come on, give us a subscribe because I'm telling you, by 2024, this is going to be the number one spot. Yeah, we're coming for that throne. And also, head on over to Instagram and give us a follow there as well. Track is, if I'm not on TXT Track Time, definitely there will be daily updates on Instagram because I do have someone posting over there. So yeah, give us a follow on Instagram as well. Now, Track is, without further ado, let's jump into this, you know, Elaine Thompson Hira saga that just keeps on giving. Now, Track is, personally, I didn't really want to touch on this situation again on until I got some further information as it relates to you know what exactly is really happening interestingly Oral Tracy came out and he gave his take and he says you know what exactly happened now clearly I don't know if what he's saying is true so I'm going to say alleged right so allegedly he has the full rundown as it relates to what really is transpiring in the Elaine Thompson here at camp all right so to kick things off track is he says you know this all surrounds compensation compensation for Shaniki Osborne, what she wants versus what is being offered to her. Now, track is apparently, allegedly, this has absolutely nothing to do with Elaine Thompson Hira, and this is all pretty much you know her husband. So now the question is being asked: that Is Elaine Thompson Hira's husband the problem in this situation? No, track is when I go back. So I'm gonna go back a bit, and then I'm gonna you know come back to this whole Elaine Thompson Hira present scenario with Shaniki Osborne. So when we go back to 2021, when she split with Stephen Francis clearly you know we knew that it had something to do with compensation as well uh track is but back then i definitely agreed with the the you know stance that elaine thompson here and her husband had because and i'm gonna liken the deal that apparently allegedly i heard goes on over mvp i'm gonna uh, you know liken it to you know what we know musicians you know come up musicians you know typically sign with record labels and i'm gonna call it you know a 360 d right so pretty much that is exactly the type of deal that Elaine Thompson here had her husband saw that and he's like nah 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 this is not cool you know you're, you're you're taking too much you know let's stop that there right so in terms of um you know a lot of people having an issue with that saying that you know seeing Francis is the one that brought her you know to notoriety sure but you know you, you don't necessarily get to you know step to the table to negotiate until you become somebody right so that's when you can negotiate the terms of your contract right so for me personally i took no issue with the sense back then um and of course you know this season as well sim francis spoke further to you know the situation highlighting that clearly at that particular point as well her husband was interfering with the training now Jack is, i did do a reaction to that video i'm sure some of you remember me reacting to that video and i said clearly elaine thompson here in this instance is in the middle right we've heard that elaine thompson here is difficult to work with you know stephen francis deaded those claims and said no she was the easiest person to train i love training her pretty much you know what i mean and then you know based on what he said we could clearly see that okay there was elaine thompson here in the middle her husband on one one side and Stephen Francis on, on the other side and I said you know what you know it's really hard to take issue with Elaine Thompson here as decision because a lot of people and I get that a lot of men watch this channel so probably you don't understand from a female perspective but in life for a female it's very 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 hard trust me you can do no right every day it's another problem every day you're put in the middle of a situation and you pretty much have to choose right so when i saw that video from st francis i understood and i'm like listen elaine thompson here was in the middle she had to make a choice and really no choice would have been the right choice at that particular moment plus again from the business standpoint i kind of agreed again as i said with the decision however fast forward no to this present instance we're hearing okay shaniki osborne you know requested to be paid a certain sum now i'm hearing from oral trace that listen elaine thompson here you know allegedly signed off on this and she agreed to the sum however her husband is like na 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 you know we're not going to be paying you that no allegedly you know what she's requesting is you know half of what a, a quote-unquote Stephen francis would be getting and you know the question in my mind now becomes you know what exactly here is the big picture right so 
we're looking at a Shaniki Osborne that is requesting X, Y, Z for compensation, right? And you know, it's been turned down. So I'm like, okay, let's go to another Jamaican coach. Let's just throw in a Michael Freight, Michael Freighter, for example, right, Jackies? And how much would he be requesting? So let's say she leaves, you know, um, Shaniki Osborne and she goes and she trains with Michael Freighter. How much would he, you know, be be requesting for his compensation package right so those are questions that pop into my mind because as far as i'm concerned it doesn't really get any cheaper you know allegedly if she is requesting you know the bare minimum pretty much then i don't think it gets any cheaper unless you're going to go with someone that is unqualified you know maybe a high school coach and again the risk you run of doing something like that is clearly you know her talent just wasting away because at the end of the day right how good is her product going to be when she steps to the track? You know what I mean? And obviously that is going to determine her value. So if she doesn't run fast, it means that at the end of the day, her value is going to keep decreasing, right? So clearly you want the one of the best coaches. And as it stands right now, Shaniki Osborne has been doing her thing. Now, I know a lot of trackies in the comment section saying, oh, it's been a short while. You know, it's too soon to see if um these results have anything to do with Shaniki Osborne. Every time I see those comments, I'm like, come on, guys, really? Really now? Really? You can clearly see that, you know, she has definitely been able to get results out of Elaine Thompson here in a very, very short time. And track is that is very, very, very impressive in my opinion. So when I think about, you know, this whole compensation thing, I'm like, so what what exactly is going on here? Let's you know, look outside of Jamaica also. Um, Let's go to the United States. They pay in United States dollars, right? So I'm sure Shaniki was maybe, uh, well, I don't know. Let's say she was quoting, you know, her compensation in a Jamaican dollar figure, right? Then we're going to go over to the US. Clearly, it's going to be more than double that, right? So again, all these things keep popping in my mind as it relates to the compensation and what exactly is the bigger picture here. Because if somebody is able to get results, right, I don't see, you know, cons you know, as long as everything is remain re remaining in the realm of what is acceptable, clearly, track is. Um, I don't necessarily see the issue with again continuing with Shaniki Osborne because again you go find a new another coach. You can even find a reputable coach, one of the best coaches in the world. You still don't know if that coach is going to work well with Elaine Thompson Hira. So there are all these factors that you have to consider when looking for a new coach. And my thought process is if this compensation package is not wayward. Do the right thing. Now, track is another thing that clearly he talked about in his video. And he meaning Oral Tracy talked about in his video was the fact that Elaine Thompson here has somebody, a third party, a friend of hers, somebody I don't know that is trying to intervene and rectify this whole situation. Now, track is I have to give Shaniki Osborne props because clearly the media reached out to her. Not only did she not, you know, give her an interview and talk about the situation, but she also said, look here, Menawa, no media up I'm a training camp. You know, kudos to her because clearly um she knows that this is something that Elaine Thompson here wants. This is something that I believe she wants as well. And I believe that you know they're trying to work things out to make it work in my opinion. And talking to the media right now would not be the best thing. So I definitely definitely 100 percent give you know Shaniki Osborne kudos for you know working working with the situation and the scenario and trying to get the best outcome in my mind. But also some Something about this whole third party, you know, really struck me as interesting because again, this is Elaine Thompson here, this is her husband, and this is of course Shaniki Osborne, right? I am kind of wondering to myself, why does Elaine Thompson here need a third party, you know, to rectify this situation, right? It's like, okay, I got um, Shaniki, I got my husband. This is something that I want to do. This is something that has been working. Why can't we work things out? Why do I need a third party? So I'm hoping that, you know, what I'm feeling and what I'm sensing is just, you know, hogwash or, you know, just something all in my mind, right? Um, so track is there's a third party currently intervening in the situation. So hopefully, um, we'll be able to get the situation rectified because again, everybody sees it. Jamaica sees it. You know that this was working. Shanika sees it. Elaine sees it. You know what I mean? 
Um, something that Oral Tracy said, you know, don't cut off your hand to spite your face or something on a, along those lines. Track is and true. I do agree with that, you know, stance. Sometimes you want all and you end up losing all. You know what I mean? This is sport. You can check every sport. You don't have a long time in it. You know what I mean? You definitely don't have a long time and you have to maximize everything you can get your earnings in that short window because you never know when it's going to be the last day you know what i mean and this type of operation to me sounds like we're operating like elaine is 23 like shakiri's age like oh she has all the time to get her her light together you know what i mean so i don't know i i definitely think it's it's too wanton at this particular point in assuming that it's easy to just go and find another coach and things will work you never know you never know you never know i I mean look at another phenomenal athlete that we have omar mccloud he keeps switching from coach to coach to coach to coach and it it doesn't seem to be working you know what i mean so at this point clearly i'm hoping for the best for omar mccloud you know I'm, i'll never give up on our athletes but still um when you find something that is working for you just you know go with it you know what i mean go with it so i definitely think Ilian thompson here needs to figure it out definitely figure it out i think she needs to put her big girl panties on for sure um 100 and get this started out because if this is something that you want if this if this is something that you know is working um y'all need to work it out man work it out figure it out you know what i mean um Anyway, track is um, definitely, as I said, I agree with Oral Tracy on a, a lot of his stance, probably on everything he had to say um, in the video. If you know the information that he's disseminating is indeed true, right? Track is so. This is my thought as it relates to the latest um, situation. I don't think it gets any better, you know, than Shaniki Osborne when it comes to compensation, when it comes to coaching at this point from a Jamaican perspective, right? So um, I don't even see why we're even having a problem because as far as I'm concerned, you go to a Michael Freyto, you're probably going to have to be paying more. You know what I mean? You go overseas, you're definitely going to be paying more. You know what I mean? And think about it, right? When it's because oral tracy talked about i forgot about this part oral tracy talked about her potentially you know breaking the 100 meter world record let's say she breaks the 100 meter world record and whatever contract they sign is maybe a yearly deal right when it comes to renegotiating the terms of this contract let's say this is an elaine thompson here that breaks the world record next year then don't you think this coach is going to be requesting more money like these are things that you definitely have to be considering so on one hand, for sure, I definitely agree with, you know, getting business together and making sure that you're making the right decisions for you on your own. But also, you definitely can't be blind to the bigger picture, in my opinion, and end up losing it all. But anyway, track is you all sound off in the comment section below now and let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this whole entire situation, saga, Um, you know, all this, all this information that is coming to light when it comes to, um, you know, Elaine Thompson here on this coaching situation now track is i advise you in my comment section please do not go off crazy bashing elaine's husband from a personal standpoint because personally yeah we don't know these people um when you're you know commenting comment on the decision what do you think about this decision you know what i mean anyway like the video of course subscribe and i will definitely catch you in the next one bye